Greetings from a little paradise in Texas. I am so warm right now, pardon my sweat. I just felt inspired to come on. This place is a little different. We're like three weeks behind in vlogs. Like we have a gap in vlogs so that we can edit and post and y'all won't know where we are. Um, but we're gonna be two, two videos a week from now on. Anyway, I wanted to come on here to talk a little bit about soul contracts and Mother's Day and not having a good relationship with your mom. <laughs> this video isn't gonna be what a lot of people expect, but it's fine. Um, so I firmly believe before we come here, we have something similar to like a soul contract. Um, within that contract, there are things that we will experience, things that we will do, people we will meet. And hopefully at the end, there's a frequency that we are called to maintain while we're here on earth. Um, whether that be like you're a spiritual teacher or you're a priest or you're whatever, <laughs> I don't know, whatever the case may be. And I believe that within that, our family members, our direct family members also have a soul contract that's directly related to us. Um, so for people who don't have the best relationships with their moms or with their dads or with their parental figures or whatever, I believe... <laughs> That my dog is getting into something he should not be. I believe that my mom, for instance, loved me so much that she agreed to play a certain role in this reality so that she could act as a catalyst toward my evolution and toward my growth. There are bees mating by me. <laughs> um, so that's something that's really helped like lift a burden off of me because like I don't have the best relationship with my mom, and I don't know that I ever had the best relationship with my mom, but I do know that she loves me um, <laughs> in the ways that she knows how. I know that my dad loves me in the ways that he knows how, I guess. Um, and I know that together they loved me so much that they agreed to act as these things, these people. They agreed to give me these experiences, even though my ego does not agree with them. They agreed to give my soul the experiences that it needed in order to propel my development spiritually, physically, emotionally, just as like a whole vibrational being. So yeah, that's helped me a lot, just to like kind of think about. So if you also struggle with Mother's and Father's Days, just know that they do love you and they've acted in these ways. <laughs> to act as a catalyst towards your growth. I don't know, things feel weird. Things feel gooey today, but nonetheless, I hope you guys have a really good day. And I can't wait to show you where we are. <laughs> okay, bye.